Here's a chart of the QQQs. That's the NASDAQ ETF. It's a very popular symbol. You can see that as of this recording, it had traded 45 million shares. So trading options in and out of this is really easy. I'm not going to take a lot of time explaining how the counterpunch trader works. I've done a lot of videos on it. You can easily see them. You can contact me if you want to learn more. What I will show you, though, is what the trades look like. Let's look at this setup on the very right edge of the chart. This is a daily chart. So every bar is one day. And a trade like this only takes a few minutes to set up and that's about it. You could follow as many symbols as you would like, but I would recommend that you just follow the biggest and most popular. And we could talk about that. I teach this in training. All right, but the Qs are one of them. Notice that there's a little plus sign above the bar. That's because this is a setup bar. This is a trade setup. The little plus sign is your entry. These are three targets that we're gonna shoot for, and the dots below that's your stop. So when you place the trade, you're literally going to use the stock chart of the QQQs to influence and guide your options trade. Okay, and this is why this is such a great way to trade options because it makes things super easy. All right, so let me explain and I'll show you how I do it. When I click on the bar, the entire trade is shown in the data window. Now on Thinkorswim, you will learn how to read it off the margin. On NinjaTrader, you could look on the data window as well. Of course, with MT4, you wouldn't trade options. You would be using the counterpunch to trade Forex. A subject for another video, but an excellent way to use counterpunch as well. Okay? So, notice that with this particular uh, symbol, the Qs, we have an entry at 398.93. So, how do we know what option to use? Well, I'm going to recommend that you get an option that's several months into the future, okay? You also look for an option that's slightly in the money. That means that the strike price is going to be a little bit below 398, maybe 397, for example, okay? So let's just say you're going to buy a March 2022 397 call option. That's it. You'll learn this technique after doing it a few times. It's really, really easy, okay? When we place the trade, we're gonna buy however many options we can afford, okay? So we wanna always stick to our 2% risk and you don't wanna buy options that uh, over leverage your account. But here's the good news. If you buy this option and it comes down and stops out, you're not holding the option until expiration you're gonna sell your option back to the market. Yes, you will sell it for less money because it stopped out, you're gonna take a loss, but you're not gonna lose the entire cost of the option. You get to sell your option and recover some of your premium back into your account. And that goes towards your bottom line and it's really great for your risk reward ratios, okay? Because some trades do lose, but the beauty is absolute worst case scenario, maybe you forget to sell it or whatever, and you lose the whole option, you can never lose more than the option. So if you were to buy 100 shares of QQQs, it would cost you $39,893. We're gonna buy this option for like, I don't know, a fraction of that. I'll show you when we buy the option. I'll show you the trade that I took, okay? Now, once you place the trade, Using tools with your options platform, I'm going to show you on Thinkorswim because I think they're great for trading options. I could tell Thinkorswim that when the stock hits this target, sell an option. Or if the stock hits my stop out, sell the option and cancel the other side of the trade. So if it hits the target, it'll cancel the stop. If it hits the stop, it'll cancel the target. And it's based on the actual chart of the symbol. I don't care about the option itself once I buy the option. I only care about what the symbol is doing. And like this, it keeps things really easy. Now, look back here. Imagine if this was at the right edge of the chart and you bought a 369 option, right? Slightly in the money, an option slightly below 370. And then you exited at targets one, two, and three. 
it would have made $10 on the stock, but you would have had to commit $37,000 to make like $1,000 in profit. With the option, you're going to commit a fraction of that and you're going to make double and triple digit percentage gains. So how much would have this trade actually made? Well, let me show you. So I pulled this information right off of Thinkorswim and you could see a simple call option would have made 43%, 88%, 121% returns on just a single option for each of these positions. And you could have trailed up to here as well, and sometimes it'll trail for even larger gains. So you can see how powerful this system is. Best of all, this only took a couple minutes to place the trade, and then I let the tools manage the trade all the way to the end. So how are we gonna place this trade? All right, so I know I said I bought a March option, but I actually bought a February option because after looking back at several trades, I realized that February gave me enough time for this option. I bought a 396 call and I paid 1799 for it. Okay, so that's 1799 bucks, a far cry from 39,000 bucks. Okay? That's why the percentage gains are so large. Let me show you how I did it. So you could use any options platform you want. I'm using Thinkorswim here. And I went ahead and opened up the February options here. And I looked for my strike price, which slightly in the money, 396 right here. Okay. And then I just, uh, actually, you can see that it's gone up in value. That's because I made money. And it's gone up since I purchased the option. Okay, so I bought it at $17.99. It's already up to $21.59. It's over $300 in profit in just a couple days. And I'll show you why in a moment. So all you do is you buy the option like so. Um, let's just say we're buying one. And you place the trade. And once you place your trade, then you can go back and you can put in a conditional order using the advanced order here. You could set it to an OCO. And by merely right-clicking on your, your position, you can create two closing orders and one is attached to the other. Then you can click on this little gear here and it opens up a window where you could say, if the QQQ hits a certain price and you type in what that price is, of course, one of the targets, then exit the trade. So it's based on the symbol of the stock itself hitting the target, and then it exits the trade. On the other order, you do the same thing, but if it hits the stop, and because you have this set to OCO, order cancels order, if one gets hit, the other one cancels. That's it, that's all there is to it. It's really that easy. I go over this in training, and we can talk about this in the live trade room as well. By the way, all CounterPunch Trader members get access to the live trade room. You can bring your questions. We can set up trades. I can show you how to do this. All right, so this was a few days ago. As of Friday, look what happened. I almost hit target one. I was really tempted to pull the profit off, but because I'm only trading a single position, I'm going to target two. So on Monday, I'm gonna move my stop to break even. So worst case scenario is if it comes back down, I stop out at break even. And that's how simple it is to trade. The counterpunch trader wants you to get to a break even position as quickly as possible while also letting the trade have the room it needs to develop. So it's a fine line, but you can see how accurate that target was just three days later, missing it by like, uh, I think 20 cents or 40 cents, something like that. But it just broke out of uh, key resistance here and I'm gonna stay in the trade and hopefully get to target too. Let me show you one other trade that I got into. This is another great symbol to trade. This is USO, that's US oil. It tracks the price of crude oil, which has been selling off. Lucky for us at the gas pumps. So I bought put options this time. I want to show you how easy it is to buy in the money puts. This is when the market's going down. And this is a much lower cost symbol. So I was able to buy 10 put options. Okay. The entry is at 54, uh, 54.44. So I bought 55 puts. 
This was the one that I bought March. Okay, the Qs, I bought the February option. This one, I bought the March option. 10 of them. So I'm able to scale out of several options at each target. So if I just squinch this down a little, you can see here's target one, target two, target three. So I've already set Thinkorswim up to exit uh, four positions here, three positions here, and three positions here. And that'll be the end of the trade. This wins a lot. I'm confident if it comes up and hits my stop, I will sell my options back to the market and recover some of my premium. I'm perfectly fine with that. This wins a lot, but that's basically it. It's really simple. The counterpunch trader can do so much. This strategy has stood the test of time. I've been using it for years. You can use it too. You can learn how to trade just like this. I wanted to keep this video brief, but hopefully you get the idea. Trading options does not have to be difficult or complicated. You can make simple directional trades and take advantage of the great volatility that we are seeing inside of the markets right now. With all the political stuff going on in the world, the markets are moving. And whether they're going up or down, really, you shouldn't care if you're trading like this because you make money either way. And I would like to tell you before I finish this video, that these trades are taking place inside of my retirement account, absolutely tax-free or tax-deferred. You can do it the same way with a self-directed IRA. You can use the counterpunch trader and really supercharge your earnings. We could talk more about that as well inside the trade room if you'd like. Be sure to take advantage of this offer and get the counterpunch trader. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. You can see how effective and easy it is to trade options. It, there's really not that much to it. You do it once or twice and you become a pro at it really quick. Using the great counterpunch trader signals, they've been working for years. They will never stop working. Just spend a little time learning these few techniques and it'll serve you well from now until the rest of your trading career. I truly believe that. I've been using it for years. Click on the link below. Don't let the Trade Assist automation get away from you. Please keep in mind that Counterpunch Trader works on TradeStation, Ninja Trader, Thinkorswim, and MT4. But the automation only works on TradeStation and Ninja Trader. As a Counterpunch Trader member, you get all four platforms. You get the indicators for all of them. There is nothing to prevent you from signing up for TradeStation or Ninja Trader to use the automation, even if you use Thinkorswim. You can see I was using TradeStation charts, but I placed the trades on my Thinkorswim account. You could do the same thing. Traders need to be resourceful. Just don't let tools prevent you from being successful. Get the tools you need. It's well worth it. Trading is a business. This is an investment in yourself. Once you get it set up, you'll be so glad you did. Feel free to reach out to me at any time, troy at backpacktrader.com. I love to interact with my members. You could also jump on our Trade Hacking Club Discord channel where we are always interacting with each other. We have a real vibrant trader community. I want you to be a part of it. Come get involved, and I hope to talk to you soon. Happy holidays, everyone.